Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at four 9mm handguns that I think are great for CCW. Each of them have a double stack magazine and they are budget priced. So let's get to it. Let's start out with this Diamondback AM2. It's a nice looking handgun. It's performed great for me and it has an MSRP of $339. People were buying these under $300. 3.5 inch barrel. Take a look at that slide looks kind of neat with the black in between the serrations and the top of the slide. Very nice grip texturing. 12 rounds in the magazine. Also comes with a 17 round magazine. Three dot metal sights that are Glock interchangeable. I've got eight rounds loaded up. Diamondback AM2. Nice handgun here for a budget price. Let's start on the right. I've had this gun for over a year now, and I've really enjoyed it. It does have a pick rail there for the accessories, a striker fire indicator, a loaded chamber sight hole, and a great all-around handgun. I'm yet to have a failure with this Diamondback AM2. Here we have the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. Canik's smallest handgun with a 3.6 inch barrel, a beautiful Tungsten Cerakote finish slide comes with a 12 and 15 round magazine. This is a 12 round extended base plate on the magazine for three finger contact. You can see the trigger bar safety there is red. Does have a pick rail, front serrations, three dot metal sights, optic ready, a loaded chamber indicator bar, uh, ambi slide stop. I could go on interchangeable back straps. Striker fire indicator feature loaded to the max, and it's a nice looking handgun. People are picking this up for a little bit over $300, and I think that's a great price for a gun with all those features. Let's take a few shots. We'll start on the right. What a nice handgun this is. Happy to own it, and I've enjoyed it since day one. Here we have the Taurus G3C. They took the very popular G2C and made it even better with the G3C. The three is the third generation. Let's start with the magazine. Three 12 round magazines, opposed to the two that the G2C gives you. They put a tenifer finish on the slide. They got rid of the loaded chamber indicator bar, added a sight hole indicator, still has the thumb safety. I think it's the same grip. Some people say it's a little more textured, but what I like most is that trigger. They widened the trigger bar safety and it has a nice, crisp, single action trigger pull. Metal sights that are Glock interchangeable, front serrations, and an MSRP of 30574. A lightweight gun that a lot of people really fell in love with, and the G2C made people believers in Taurus in many ways. And I think this G3C will do the same. We'll start with the. Yeah, it's a fine shooter. I've run, well, that was steel case, and I've run others through this gun, and it has performed great. I haven't owned it real long, you know, just a couple months, because that's when they released it, but I'm very pleased with the upgrade and features, and they also kept the MSRP down and added an additional magazine. The Taurus G3C is the smallest of the four. The Stoger STR9C is the largest of the four, but it's still in that CCW size. They took the full size STR9 and made it a smaller model with a 3.8 inch barrel and a little bit of a shorter grip there. It carries 13 rounds, comes with two 13 round magazines. It does have the deep cut slide serrations, a loaded chamber bar there, a very nice trigger, a pick rail, and a great shooter. I, I really shot this gun well, and I'm very happy to have it. It's just a smaller version. They also 
have a matte finish on the slide. 329 with one magazine and one back strap. The three dot metal sights as well. Let's start on the left. Yeah, Stoger did a great job with this, and I, uh, I, I'm very fond of it. I shoot it well, and for an MSRP of 329 you really can't go wrong with this handgun. Well, there they are, the Diamondback AM2, the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact, the Stoger STR9C, and the Taurus G3C. Each are very nice they're budget priced they in that ccw size range and each have a double stack magazine and i think i demonstrated the shooting pretty well with these models as well uh, it's raining out here it just started pouring you may see that on the gun so i'm gonna pack up and get out of here but if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe